a very good morning to all myself dr d satya assistant professor in computer science department bharathiar arts and science college for women today we are going to see the concept of iot the internet of things the internet of things so what is the outline of the internet of things first we see the outlines of the internet of things uh, what is iot definition of iot then who invented iot why we need iot how iot works applications of iot's advantages and disadvantages of iot's then upcoming of iot so what is mean by iot i was iot is a interrelated computing devices digital machines objects peoples animals that are equipped in identified manners the data can access through the internet so objects with sensing processing the capability to input and output the device how iot works to the revolutions through the routers devices router is the computer network device that forward the data packets between the computer network so the data packets such as the connect different types of networks that frequently over a large distances a router to forward the data packets between the computer networks can creating an overlay inter network the next topic we go for the data packets then cloud system so cloud system cloud computing is a technology that store and manage each and every data in a remote servers so it uh, example is google cloud google cloud it is a public service cloud service offered by the google all application developments that are stored in google drive for example such as google search engines uh, gmail google drives and youtube etc so all are stored in the cloud computing area then the next topics why we need iot what are the revolutions that are maintained in the iot see the revolutions the first revolution mechanical production railroads and stream power then the second revolution mass production electrical power and the advent of the assembly line then the third revolution automated production electronics and computers then the fourth revolution is now we are using the fourth revolution artificial intelligence big data robotics and more revolutions are there so what is the industrial revolution 4.0 up to the 1.0 to 4.0 what are all the concepts candidates so most companies uses the industry 4.0 as a buzzword so these are the revolutions from 1.0 to 4.0 through the iot devices connections it is an industrial revolutions the next first iot kevin ashton as an innovator and sensor expert to describe the network in physical world to connect the, all the objects in the connect the world in iot devices in germany to improve the energy efficiency of the networks the next topic is applications of it there are varieties of applications in iot devices for example smart cities smart parking systems and smart uh, medical applications then home appliances for all the purpose we are using the iot devices then the future of iot technology so what are the iot trends nowadays we are going to see the concept of blockchain technology artificial intelligence smart cities smart tracking systems smart uh, lightings so we connect all over the networks through the world all the devices that are connected in iot so for example smart cities all the devices that are connected through the mobile phones each and every data is maintained over the networks so all the connection that means the home applicants all the devices and all the objects that are connected through the iot devices the next concept the data can be stored by the data analytics so 5g the next one is 5g 5g is the cellular digital networks that comes around the world what is the revolution of the 5g it is a global cellular digital network defined by the global standard agencies for example 
it connect all the industries and government sectors through the mobile devices it control every aspects of the business the next one healthcare applicants so what is the concept in smart cities areas so each and every smart cities in smart cities iot can communicate and interact with each other so all the data can be accessed through the internet in smart cities each and every device then augmented reality it is an interactive in the real world communication so where the objects in the real world and the data can be accessed through the internet like a vision or other sensor devices it is called as the augmented reality concepts the next one healthcare applicants in healthcare applicants virtual hospitals heart monitoring smart watch monitoring then medical dispensers medical alert systems each and every patient informations that are stored each and every details that are stored through the iot devices each and every information the data can be collected from the cloud computing devices through the iot devices so all the data can be collected and stored and managed in iot platforms so the next concept the data analytics is a main important to collect the data for each and iot devices so the next one is advantages and disadvantages of iot so there are so many advantages in iot for example uh, minimize the human efforts to minimize the human efforts then your resource utilization is high to save the time and security purpose so iot architecture through likes the all other infrastructures to connect all the things in through the iot architectures what is the disadvantages of iot unemployment super reliance become idle intent so privacy issues is low so these are the iot disadvantages nowadays we are seeing the iot disadvantages so this is the comparison benefits and drawbacks comparisons through the iot devices so what are the benefits time processing accessibility and mobility anywhere any place and any time tracking the ability modern lifestyle so this is the overview of the internet of things so we connect all the things through the iot devices to the world upcoming iot's nowadays in smart cities each and every devices we are connected by the sensor devices for example gps so gps can collect all the data through the mobile devices smartphones and each and every for example uh, mobile phone numbers and location of the vehicle and speed of the vehicle for example the data is that can be stored through the cloud platform in iot devices uh, then next one is smart parking system these are all comes under the upcoming iot's so smart traffic lights so that are connected to the cloud platforms for managing and storing the data and to monitor the each and every traffic light signal that is the timings of the traffic lights that can be stored in the iot platforms so each and every smart cities all the devices that are connected over the internets the informations that are stored in cloud platform through the iot devices the next we see the iot devices iot devices as a hardware such as sensor actuators gadgets applications or machines through all the devices through the iot devices so each and every device can communicate and interact with each other for example amazon dash buttons it is used for controlling the remote controls for the netflix amazon echo for example alexa you know about the alexa device alexa device is used for voice service that is a user can talk directly to the alexa and control all the devices in homes offices and hotels etc then uh, august doorbell cam that is a doorbell camera you fix the doorbell camera then avai it is mainly used for the environment such as temperature and co2 etc then belkin vemo it is like a switcher switch boxes to control electronic all electronic items then chamberlain micu and cinder and so each and every devices do the separate 
areas that can be connected through the IoT devices over the network. The next we are going to see the concept futures of IT. I already told that there are so many futures in IoT devices. Uh, intelligence, connectivity, dynamic natures, enormous scale, sensing and heterogeneity. So the IoT devices, each and every objects that are connected through the network over the internet. So it is grow up to 30 billion devices that are connected in 2020. Now it is uh, reached 75 billions of devices in 2025. So these are all the benefits in IoT devices. Now we are ending with the session. Thank you.